What's up, Pokemon trainers? Today, we are on the online trading card game for the day one release of Ultra Prism. So you probably have a couple of packs you want to open up, but what if I told you, you can take those packs and double them up so that you have twice as many packs to open. It's not as hard as it sounds, and I'm about to show you how. So you're probably wondering, what is day one trading? Well, simple enough, it is trading on the first day of the release of a new set. So you basically have two types of people. You have this group here, which is looking to get their hands on Ultra Prism as fast as they can. So they're willing to give up their Leles and their Full Art Guzmas and any other popular playable cards online for a third of the value. They just need to have those Ultra Prism backs. They gotta have them, they gotta crack them open because they wanna pull all the cards. Then you have your other group over here. Now this group is looking to get really good deals. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna target this group for a Lele, for example, at a third of the price. So Lele is normally 32 packs rainbow rare. So we're gonna try to get it for eight packs. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back on the market for 16 packs. Our goal is to just double up packs. So if we keep getting Lele's for eight and we keep selling them for 16, soon enough, we will turn our 100 packs into 200 packs. And you can do this with any amount. It doesn't have to, you don't have to start with 100 packs. You can start with five. You can start with 10, 20. It doesn't matter. You're just going to find that target card, try to get it at a third of the value, and then sell it for double over here. You'll be able to easily double, triple what you started with. So my goal today is to do that. We're going to flip packs, and then ultimately I'm just trying to bling out my deck. There are just some key cards that I'm missing couple secret rare cards like DCE and another choice band, one more Guzma full art, one more ace roll of full art, and a couple others. And hopefully we can have a successful day one trading. I'm super excited. There's only a few minutes before it gets started. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So it's official three minutes and counting down before Ultra Prism is officially released online. Two minutes now. And so one thing you want to keep in mind is you want to have plenty of coins because you're going to be creating a lot of listings and listings cost listings cost eight for eight hours. There it is. It's live. All right. Good luck. Here we go. It's Lele GX. Throw that up there. Come on. All right. Packs. So we're going to do, let's try to do eight. See if we can get eight. And if not, we'll bump it up to nine. We'll do Lele GX. We will do, I wonder if we can get six. I mean, that's asking for a lot, but if those go through, that'll be insane. So let's try to get, mm, what, like six packs maybe? Yeah, let's do like six packs. We got to do Cynthia. So we are going to go for, Cynthia. Oh, Cynthia's bay. All right, so we want to try to get, hmm, how many packs should we ask for Cynthia? I wonder if 12? Let's try 12. See what happens. Now, these might take a while to go through because they're going to be, you know, eight hours. So when someone goes to public offers, they're going to see the listings that are ending the soonest so normally some of those listings will go right into like the last hour because people will just scroll through like real quick through the last hour and then they'll just be like okay that's all i see and, and they'll accept it so well people are asking for so much a rescue structure a seven that's not a bad trade only two packs and we got a rescue structure which is worth like seven so I think that's a, a really good trade there. You know what I'll do? I have some packs to play with here. So let's do let's do max potion so that I have one more and we'll just throw up one pack. Throw up one pack of that. Um, I'll start hitting some of these other ones. So like I know I wanna have another Guzma. So we'll do Guzma. I need one more and we will do five packs we'll do six packs six packs is really good okay and then we will do what is another trainer we want do we want this end or the other end honestly i don't mind this end so we will do that and we'll do we'll do another six packs see if anybody jumps on that 
And then I want to get my DCE. So let's let's get that out of the way. We will do a DCE for Let's see if someone bites for five packs. And another choice band for five packs. All right, let's create another trade. Did we do Bridget? We didn't do Bridget. All right, so let's do a Bridget and try to get Bridget for one. Bridget for one would be amazing. A few moments later. All right, look, we got a trade. So let's see which one went through. Let's see which trade went through. Oh, Cynthia for 12 packs. That's actually pretty good. Oh, and look at that. We have another one as soon as I was typing. So let's see which one went through now. We got Max Potion for one pack. That's really good. A few moments later. All right, here we go. We got another one. Another one. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. N for six packs. That N is worth like 23, 24 packs. That is nuts. We're going to create a trade, right? So we're going to do, we're going to ask for packs. And we're going to ask for 36 for our Full Art Cynthia. That means we will triple if that goes through. So we'll put another one. And this time, let's try to get it for, let's try to get it for 10 packs. You know what? Let's try nine packs. And, it, and it, let's tease them with the Shining Legends to make it look like there's 10. People usually, usually go for that. Now, once these start going with the Lele's and then we can start flipping and selling them, that will be really good. I could probably, I have one full art. We'll do that. We'll create a trade. We are going to trade away. We want packs. Um, we want to get, let's get 15 packs. Let's get rid of our Lele. And let's do that. And we'll see if we can get, you know, I feel like we can get 16. We'll do that. A few moments later. All right, here we go. Another trade is complete. Let's see which one completed this time. Lele, please. Glaceon for six packs. It's pretty good. Okay. 70. 70 Guardians Rising packs. All right, so they're asking 22. They want a Lele and a few other things. 22. Looks like 22. So we might be able to... I'm going to do like 18 then. Because people are asking like an absurd amount. Let's do 16. That's what we're going to do. We want 16. Let's do, yeah, 16 packs. I am giving, I am getting 16 packs. That should go through really quick. So we'll update you as soon as that happens. A few moments later. We are back. We have, I think a few more trades went through. So let's see. Two trades. Let's see what we got. First one is, no way. <laughs> we actually flipped Cynthia for 36 packs. That is insane. I got to screenshot that real quick. Let's see what else went through. And we got, oh, there we go. And we finally got a Tapu Lele that went through. I put this one up. It was an extra one I had. All right, so we are back. Another trade is complete. Um, let's see what it is. Oh, okay. So I listed uh, some of these Zoroks that I had. I had two of them. And I listed them for six packs and seven packs. A Zorark is normally worth around like eight packs. So when I, if I'm getting six packs of Ultra Prism, it's like almost getting 18 packs. So it, it, it's just really good. One eternity later. All right, and it's been a little bit of time. And here is another trade. So let's see what it went through. It's probably going to be something I just put up. No, I got a Zorark regular art for seven packs. Time to go buy one for three packs now so that we can double up and just like that another one so let's see which one this one is for they're starting to come back to back now i got a skyla for one one eternity later what feels like a lifetime later is another trade accepted so trades have been a little bit slow the last hour but that's to be expected you can see these are starting to get down to the four hour mark now. Hopefully as they get down to three and two and one, they will start going and we can start flipping them. Let's see what we got completed. Oh, okay. So we picked this up for six packs and it just went for 16. So we profited plus 10. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. The next day. We are back. It is the very next day. 
I know I'm still wearing the same clothes. But we uh, we have a lot of trades that went through that we got to go through. Some that I've already seen that I checked. Um, so I have to go through the history and show you guys. And where we left off was probably, I think it was around right here with the Glaceon. I got a secret rare water energy for two packs. Those normally go for like seven right now. Fire energy for two packs. Those also go around for seven. Picked up a zoroark for three and i've been flipping those for like six seven packs as you'll see <laughs> this was crazy we got a buzzwool for one pack now buzzwool usually goes for five packs so this might be our one pack to lele challenge so keep an eye out for that video that will be out once we complete it basically we start off one pack and we work our way up through the trade system trading until we have enough packs to trade for a lele just showing people that you can start with one pack and you know get a lele you know one of the most playable cards you just got to know what you're doing then we got a fairy energy for three those normally go for i think 11 or 12 so that's a really really good trade there we picked we got a buzz and we traded it for three packs so two pack profit on that gardevoir for one pack and i think gardevoir goes for you know a good four packs normally here i started picking up some buzz rainbow rares for three packs and buzz rainbow rares around eight packs right now so three packs is pretty good and i got two of those traded one of the rainbow rares for six packs so we doubled up that is you know three pack profit then over here i got two fighting energies for five packs fighting energies go for around five packs for one so towards the end of the night we noticed that like trading was kind of a little bit dead there was a lot less action than i expected none of our lele trades went through and i remember during crimson invasion we were getting leles for you know rainbow rares for like 10 11 packs shining legends we were getting them for 9 10 packs and then we finally finally had a dce go through 10 packs uh, of ultra prism and i guess threw in one guardians rising here i traded um some of my full arts and i got eight packs like these normally go for eight packs and that's like eight packs of you know guardians rising whereas ultra prism right now because of the hype it's you know it's worth double the value so technically you know i can take these eight packs and turn them into probably three regular zorks and then trade those for six to seven packs that's a good little flip if it goes through this one don't mind that i this was this morning I almost made a listing to give eight packs for a Zorak. Luckily, I noticed it right away. So here is a Lycanroc GX Rainbow Rare that went through for one pack. So that's not bad. Um, it's like a two and a half value Lycanroc. We started with 111 packs and we are now at what? We have uh, 149. And then we also are plus all of these cards. We're up a DCE. We're up Secret Rare Energies. We're up a Buzzwool Rainbow Rare. You know, we're up a lot of cards. So let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. It was a little different to make and I had a lot of fun making it. So hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. Good luck, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.